right, that gives him a chance. That gives Becky a chance. Oh no, she's coming in. She's gonna hit me. Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and we're nearing completion on another project with my 2003 Mercedes G55 AMG. I actually really need the car because the weather that's coming in this weekend is supposed to be really bad, and uh, well, this is the perfect rig for it. These things are known for their great off-road capability, and the Car Wizard right now is making it even better. I bought this car about six months ago from a Mercedes dealer in Florida, and it was the cheapest G55 AMG in the USA. This is a 2003, it's not the supercharged one, but still really, really cool side pipe exhaust, but it was cheap, $22,000, because it has over 220,000 miles on it. Now, at first we thought it was really screwed up with the crooked engine and all this weirdness going on underneath, but it was just because we weren't familiar with G-Wagons, uh, that's just how they are. So there really wasn't that much to fix on it, but today we're going to tally up all the costs of sorting out this very high mileage G-Wagon and uh, what I'm doing to it today, which is rewarding it with a two inch lift kit and some giant tires to make it look extra mean. The Wizard is actually finishing up right now. I think there's one Axel left. We'll join him. Before we help the wizard finish the G-Wagon, I'd like to thank Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar, Bespoke Post is a monthly subscription service that sends you unique boxes to your door, high quality goods tailored to your style. You can choose many different box options like the Speakeasy box, which would impress your friends with your cocktail making abilities. There's seriously so many different box options that you can choose from, and they have new boxes each month. If you're not into what they have to offer, you can always make a custom bespoke box perfect for you. I just got two, their Weekender box and their Outdoorsman box. I'll open up and see what they have for me. That's a very ammo box looking thing. And inside there are, there are things. There's a, a Hunter's Survival Guide, a very high quality knife carrier, and I assume, yes, a knife. A knife that the wizard would never ever trust me with. And we're not done yet. We have a commando wire saw and a strap, I assume, to strap the knife to your body. All right, let's do the Weekender box here. The perfect weekend tote bag, very stylish, quite military grade there, but there's more. You have <laughs> some, some snack bars for snacks on your weekend trip. <laughs> Blowfish uh, uh, pill for hangovers. I'm not sure if I need this, I may send this to Rob Ferretti. But the best part about Bespoke Post is the value. For only $45 a month, you get a custom bespoke box with over $70 worth of high quality goods delivered straight to your doors. So support me by supporting my generous sponsors. Click the link in the description below and get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at bspk.me slash hoovies and use the promo code hoovies20 at checkout for 20% off. Get your own cool bespoke post boxes coming. Now, back to the Weezards. Weezard, you've dropped my beefy axle. Yeah, I'm actually almost done with it. I've got this spring and this shock to put on and we're pretty much done with your lift kit. So you've already done the front? Yeah, let's take a look. So we've got the springs and the Old Man Emu shocks. That's all this is Old Man Emu, actually. Nice. All that's installed and up and going. And then we also have your steering stabilizer installed that came with that kit. Okay. And got one side on the rear done and I'm almost done with the other side. Now this should give it about a two inch lift and that would accommodate 33 inch tires, which I think is perfect. So right now it has no, it was about 31s 31. on it. And we also have these spacers in there that... Oh, yeah. Too. Yeah, it is sticking out a lot more. It sticks out, yeah. So that'll definitely modernize the look of this G-Wagon, make it look like a square to, uh, on the cheap. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got one off. You can see the spacers here. Yeah. They're the good kind, not the uh, snappy, breaky kind. Right. Okay. We had quite a snappy, breaky problem getting your security lug bolts out. Oh really? Yeah, you want to see them? They're over here. I had oh. to So these here were seized in so bad with rust, you can see the rust that's on the threads. Mm. That both of the tools just snapped. Even this is not with an impact, this is just by hand. Ended up having to drill them out. Mm. How long did that take you? A couple three hours. To, th those are hard and steel. It took forever and ever to drill through them. So they were impossible to steal. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> But it now has standard lug bolts all the way around. But you're almost done here. I guess this is this is an old spring, yes? Yes. I'll get this shock out of here. 
There's the old Mercedes shock. These were replaced before. They aren't the original G55 shocks. I guess it's pretty common for AMG G-Wagon owners to swap it out for normal like G500 shocks because the original ride was just so harsh. So they harsh, yeah. tried to make these things handle better, which was silly. It is silly know? for what it's meant for. Yeah. This this is what it's meant for, to be all jacked up bro dozery. Now most people would pry that out, but you're just using your wizard strength. Wizard strength gets it out every time. <laughs> Okay, and this is the new one? Yes. Is it? It's a lot beefier and girthier. Oh, yes it is. This one I may not be able to use wizard strength on. I'll have to see. I guess so. Yep. Who needs pry bars? I got, I got pry bars right here. <laughs> yes, but your kryptonite is cold. It is cold. It's been very cold this week. It's in the hole. It is. Now it's time to jack it into the hole. Wizard. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> oh, you're jacking the axle back up. I see you disconnected the, uh, what is this, for the locker on the rear diff? Yeah, that's a kind of like a solenoid. Oh. It shuttles this back and forth to lock the, the rear diff. Cool. The only reason I had to come off is because the amount of axle that we the distance we had to drop the axle would have stretched those wires and things. I didn't want to do that. All right. Got nice beefy springs on it now. Cool. Nice and beefy. All right. I got to put your little axle locking solenoid deal back on and some wheels. Some wheels and we'll lower this thing back down. Yeah, I actually get to visit both mechanics today because you don't mess with tires. No, I don't like to do tires. And the Car Ninja has the tire machine and the alignment rack, which I'll need for this. Yes. So, both mechanics. You're not jealous at all? No. no. He can have all the tires he wants. I took that Mini Cooper to him. Were oh, you yeah. mad at that? No. You don't like Mini Coopers? It's a BMW. Let's see his new stance, huh? Check it out. There it is. You did it, it's taller. It's taller and wider. That is definitely wider with the spacers. Mm -hmm. Looks way better with it sticking out like that. But 33s, I that'd guess be, there's room. There'll be about an inch on both sides more. It'll fit. They said it wouldn't rub, so fingers crossed as I head to the ninjas. Bye, wizard. Have a fun snowy weekend. Don't freeze. I'll try not to. Well, the ride feels the same. Pretty smooth. Definitely pulling hard to the right, though. It's gonna need an alignment when this is all said and done. Thankfully, the Ninja has a good machine. Car Trek Ferrari, and look at these. Big old boys. Ninja. Yes. I'm making a bro dozer. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They're big. That's it's heavy. Work. It'll work. Yeah. And also, I ordered five, so the spare can match. Yes. I guess I'm losing this decorative whatever this is. It won't fit anymore. That's going to look good. It needs that, too, in alignment. It pulls pretty hard to the right. Moved it over here. Two for the price of one, huh? Yes. Okay. It's easier, safer faster so okay let's give it a shot so it's a lift within a lift it's liftception yes wow well this is not long enough so we go <laughs> come back on to the board. drawing board yes oh no well there is a problem though <laughs> yeah the new tires are bigger yeah. yes they're way bigger yes well yeah we can just take the suspension out of the equation right yes Okie dokie. Should be good enough. They're gonna be so much fun. This weekend? These tires. Yes. yes. This weekend? You gonna play with them? The, we the weatherman says six to ten inches, but he's been known to exaggerate. <laughs> it's always three. These should come off a little easier than those hundred year old Countach tires. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
mean you're finally fixing the clutch? Yes, that's, it's today, well, yeah, today's the day. Wonderful. You haven't fixed the hazard switch thing yet, though. No, it's still mad because the, the head unit's missing, and the hazard switch is on the head unit, so I think the whole thing just thinks it's actively being stolen, but it's like the worst anti-theft recovery ever because it still has to drive. My used clutch. <laughs> used? Who gave you that idea? Uh, I think you did. <laughs> Oh, I'm yeah. Popping, I'm popping hemorrhoids here. <laughs> but you didn't ask for help. Oh, you're feeling me. That sticks out <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> Looks good. It's heavy. Really? Oh, God. Mm. You made it look easy. <laughs> you want to try the next one? Oh, sure. Strength. Oh, that's the back. That's all back. Yep. Yep, that's all back. Okay. Alright. Well, that definitely, definitely wasn't worth it. My back hurts, but look who else has joined us. It's Urination Bob. Hey, it's a golden day in Kansas. You got a new battery? Yes, sir. Got somebody coming in from Iowa to pick up this uh, TDI Q7. And, uh, this zero degree weather out here that's cranking a little bit slow, so... Once... Battery Armageddon. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it's not too bad. It's uh, uh, tilt seat back, four bolts. I've seen a lot worse, but... Yep, just want to make sure that they uh, don't have any issues when they take her home. Well, somebody will bask in the warm glow of Urination Bob's <laughs> fine unit there. A diesel. It is. Nice. What? What are these, beer bottles? <laughs> Here's another. So if somebody was... Popping tops on Mick Ultras hey, and hey, you guys doing a little boozing, are you? <laughs> it's not you. You bought it from yeah. auction that way, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, maybe that's the urination thing, right? You know, just pee on the road there and you kind of off the bottle. Like, maybe it's the, the cousin Eddie's hat doesn't make Bob seem that's like the not, most. It's not helping matter. <laughs> nice. I see Mercedes cheaps out and the spare is just normal. That's G500 wheel. Pretty ugly. Yeah. Kind of looks good naked though in the rear. Extra boxy. Oh yeah. That's the look. Basically it's a squared G-Wagon for less than the cost of Porta axles. The entire rig. I haven't added it up yet, but I think I think we're close. Oh yeah, that's gotta go on. Oh son of a bitch, just heavy. It's, it's the other way. Oh, wait till I go all the way up. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing. I'm sorry. Find the holes. Beautiful. Hmm. Nope. It's good. No, I'm just wondering about opening. <laughs> Uh, I think it should be fine. Hmm. Give it a try. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Well, Keep how going. about that? Keep going. Keep going. Yep, plenty of room. This is made for it. There's no way the cover's gonna fit on this, so I need need some kind of fancy, probably fabric cover or whatever, vinyl. But yes, that's me. Thank you, Ninja. You're welcome. I have to wait for this weather to come in. Have some fun with it. Yeah. yeah. So I was right. The weatherman predicted seven to ten inches, and so far we've got a very angry three inches of snow. Just enough, though, to have some fun in this thing to find out if it was worth it. But just looking at the G wagon, <laughs> it's definitely worth it to me. Now I bought this thing for twenty-two thousand dollars, making it the cheapest 
G55 AMG in the USA. And despite it having over 220,000 miles on it, it didn't need that much work. We only spent about $2,000 on mechanical repairs, some leaks like the rear main seal and an issue with the front drive shaft were the big ones. But overall, this thing was in very good shape. Where I really spent the money was on the lift kit that was $3,000 plus $1,000 for install and $1,500 for tires. So $4,500 to install this lift kit to make my G-Wagon look extra mean, meaning I'm $28,500 into this G55, which is a, totally a bargain, especially since it looks just like nearly new G-Wagons that cost $100,000. So I'm happy and we certainly have the right weather to uh, test this rig out. It is zero degrees outside, plenty of snow, and there's actually a very important mission that I have to undertake with this thing. And it involves my daughter, really. It's, it's a matter of life and death, so we better, we better get going. All right, you buckled in tight? Yes, yes, so. I drove this thing yesterday and uh, felt pretty good on the new suspension. It's definitely stiffer being raised up like this and on the big tires, but feels pretty good. We gotta go on a very important mission, though. Buddy. We need to go visit puppies. Puppies! Yes! Your nation, Bob, has had puppies. Well, it, his dog has had puppies, not him. And uh, they want you to visit. Hey. He lives kind of out in the middle of nowhere, though, down some dirt roads, so it should be fun to test out my new G-Wagon's lift. All right? Hey. Of all things, look at that. A vintage military G-Wagon in Kansas. And listen to that exhaust, Ellie. Sound good? Yeah. Oh, puppies. Look at the puppies. Ooh. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go wash my feet now. What? One of them? That, I stepped in. Did, did one of them urinate on you? Yes, yeah, Oh, no. Taking after your dad. Oh. Look at this cute one right here. Oh, that's, that's a puppy there. Oh, great work, Bob. Hey, I didn't do it. <laughs> Did you pick out your favorite? Yep, I'm gonna take him home. Okay. Well, it wasn't the most exciting drive, but we got here. Exciting drive? Uh, I've got some excitement for you. How about a little SUV challenge? I see you got your Mercedes out there all tired and uh, lifted up. What yes. do you think? Yes. We've got some SUVs here. Some. Uh, let's see how your high performance one compares against the everyday SUV. We've got a Rover and a Volvo. So your urination fleet consists of a Range Rover and you got that Volvo in it. It's yeah. a V8, yeah. 2011. I love it, uh-huh, V8, got the massaging seats and all that stuff. So let's see, let's see how this, uh, see if you're a poser, or if you belong on uh, the strip of the boulevard, or if you got some actual off-road ability. I, well, I got passed by a Camry on the way here, so I yeah. pretty much know how this yeah. is going to turn out. Well, we've got why uh, not? We've got 40 acres of uh, nice snowy uh, uh, pasture land out there. We can go and see what they'll do. Bob just established the rules as far as I understand them, and there are three humps on this field of his. He has put a trash can at the end of the field. This is a three-way barrel race. We go around the barrel, come back. After the third hump is the finish line. So you come over that hump and hit the brakes and hope you stop. But all three of us at once. Are my wheels straight? Uh, no, they're straight. Oh, That's straight right they're now. straight there? Okay. You want to run, bro? You want to run? You want to run? Yes. Turn. Oh, there's another hump here. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm wide. I am way wide. That gives him a chance. That gives Becky a chance. Oh, no. She's coming in. She's going to hit me. <laughs> Get in again. Yes. G-Wagon. Dominating. second <laughs> close they're on the range rover bob and becky are close i want a rematch why because i thought i could i thought i was gonna have you man <laughs> and then i couldn't turn like i was like i'm gonna turn this thing tight and then i'm like oh no i'm gonna hit it 
she actually had You almost it. had me? <laughs> you almost had me? You definitely do have an entire advantage out here. We're gonna we're gonna call this one on tires. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> that was awesome. I came out here not expecting to do a barrel race with three depreciated luxury SUVs, but we did. <laughs> and the tires on the G-Wagon definitely uh, helped my case a lot. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching.